Hello everyone and welcome back to Homesteading Haven. This is Sister Mary and we're going to whip up something really quick here. Brother John's been out uh, cutting more wood today so I am I have come in here and I'm going to uh, begin what we are going to eat when he comes in. What I have is some sausage links. They have um, jalapeno and cheese in them. I have some onion already cut up. I have some rice on the stove, uh, the water already, and right now I'm just going to get a little olive oil and I'm going to put it in this little pan right here. That's going to be my onion, and I'm going to add a little diced tomatoes in just a few minutes. I'm going to put just a little bit in this skillet. It has been heating up for some time now. My kettle, I know you can't see it. But it is already starting to, it's going to whistle soon. So I'm going to move it over to the far right so we don't have to hear that right now. And my water is heating up right here. So I'm probably going to move it right here to the back so it will continue to get hot. All right, so let's just start. I have taken these smoked sausage links that you can get at a Dollar General or Walmart, any local grocery and I have cut them it's kind of like a hot dog size you're not looking for a big sausage or in this instance we're not using that but you can see the cheese in there and there's some jalapeno in there but brother John told me when I cook these to cut them in half if he wants to put them on a bread he can if he wants to eat them like that he can I'm reminding everybody that I am using a great majestic wood cook stove. Brother John and I are off grid. I've got to get that turned over where it flipped. I really like these. They came with the air fryer. And I have just continued to use these. I'm not able to use the air fryer as much here because we're not on regular electricity as far as the grid. So we have to watch using electricity as far as our solar. All right, we've got this pan heated up right here. You're gonna hear a big sizzle in just a second. With these onions going in, Now I'm putting a rice dish with it. I want some onions in my rice. I have chose a quick rice in case Brother John comes in in just a few minutes. Our water is already hot enough that we can go ahead and put that in. Take these tongs, put that down in the water. I've already got some salt in the water also. I'm going to close that back up. These, it's already time to probably turn. We are catching a break here in Tennessee with our weather. Today is probably 32 degrees and we have had um, I think it was about 45 yesterday we just had a little window here of about six days without snow or rain being in the forecast so brother John is making use of that weather forecast and he is continuing to pull a tree that was down this summer in the woods and he has brought it up this morning and he's been Splitting that, and we have been having to bring wood in almost every single day for the last three or four days. This is our heating source wood to stay warm. So for you who do live off grid and you use 
wood to heat with, or even if you don't live off grid and you use wood to heat with, you know what it is. It's a task every day. Now what I am going to do is go ahead and let this continue sauteing. It will start to caramelize in a few minutes. These are, you know, they're already fully cooked, so really all we're doing is just getting that brown, that crusty uh, goodness from that cast iron skillet. And what I am going to do, I'm not going to put the sausage in the rice, but I am going to leave this rice to the side, and I'm going to take my onion after it uh, caramelizes, and I'm going to add it to my rice after I drain it. And also, I have opened a can of diced tomatoes. These are just things that uh, we like. So I encourage you to experiment. You don't just have to have rice all the time. You don't have to have a mashed potato all the time with your meat. Try rice. Rice is good for you, full of iron. We need that for our bodies. I know I do. I have a, a low iron deficiency to begin with. So I really have to remind myself to eat things that have iron in them, and rice is a good way to get that. You know, my mom, as a child, I may have told this before, but she used to, my sisters really gave me down the road later on as I become an adult, letting me know that they hated the liver and onions that they had to eat at least once a week because I had low iron, and it was a deficiency. I was born with low iron when I was an infant. I was not taking any milk. Uh... The doctor at the time told my dad that if he could find a goat farmer and give me goat's milk, it would help me, and it indeed did help me. I'm still here. I've been healthy. I'm so thankful for this Indian doctor that my dad trusted and went to. And you see how that's already starting to brown up. I'm going to leave it there for a few more minutes. You do want to keep moving it around. You don't want it to uh, get stuck to your pan. We also don't want it to burn. If you don't like onion and you do like tomatoes, my mom used to make a tomato and rice dish, and this is where this idea came from. I'm going to flip these over. Actually, I want to save our cheese. I see how the cheese is bubbling up but brother john he's a good southern man he likes things fried and look how they are starting to curl up that is letting us know that they are completely heated all the way through so he'll be excited if he comes in in a few minutes and i've already whipped something up See if this is boiling. It's definitely heated up well enough that our rice is going to be ready in just a few minutes. We just have a few more minutes on this onion right here. I am going to go ahead and take those sausages up. I'm going to put them back in a, a little bowl here. And that will be ready if he comes in in the next few minutes. He can go ahead and taste that and it be ready. You know, for those who don't cook a lot at home, if you just plan ahead, it's really not that inconvenient to cook things. Now, a wood stove, it has a warmer at the top, so I have put my, my sausages in this warmer. Our onion is doing well. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, because this pan right here does, doesn't get as hot as this skillet is already hot. I'm just going to pull this over a little bit, and I'm going to go ahead and put them 
in the cast iron skillet to speed up our process. You know, I had some spinach in the refrigerator. I thought it might still be good, but it was questionable, so I was going to add that spinach. But I'm sure you could put carrots, you could put bell pepper, whatever you like, you can do that. Let's pull this over. I can hear it boiling. Oh yeah. Can pull our kettle back over, because I want some tea in just a few minutes. I hope everybody is enjoying winter. Winter, sorry. Yes, enjoy being a winner. We are winners, amen. All right, it's that rice. I mean, the the uh, onion is ready, and I would say that our rice is, is ready. Gonna get this onion back up. You know, when I cook, you can smell it all through the house. Such a nice thing to come in. I just think about Brother John. I think about times that I have walked out, even later on, even after, long after we have cooked. You know what that is. Now, that was a whole onion, but if you don't like a lot of onion, you don't have to chop up that much. I am going to pull the skillet over because there's still fire underneath and I don't want that to we can clean that skillet back up in just a few minutes and it be ready I am gonna go ahead and take this rice I'm gonna take this rice and get that water off of it I've got my pot emptied. I've got my rice open. I'm going to go ahead and put this crushed tomato or diced tomato in. I'm going to go ahead and add my onion. Add my rice.
Give this a quick stir. Better than eating plain rice. There's our rice with our caramelized onion, some diced tomato, along with our jalapeno and cheddar cheese sausage. You've got meat, you've got cheese. Isn't that wonderful? You've got seasoning in the sausage. You've got diced tomatoes, that onion that's going to allow that juice to be wonderful to the taste also, and your rice. Hope you have enjoyed our time cooking together. I'm gonna get ready for some tea and some honey. Everybody take care of yourselves. And remember, Jesus loves you. We love you. We are praying for the body of Christ. God bless you. Until next time, this is Sister Mary with Homesteading Haven.